up at 127. Here's the call or no call, however you want to look at it, that gave Orlando a chance to tie the game. Clearly off Paolo Bantero. And then right after that, Kyle, he's able to get the bucket, ties the game up. Kings had 1.1 seconds to get that shot off. Nice look by Malik Monk, but couldn't get it to drop. And sure, second out of a back-to-back, -back, let's go to a second <laughs> overtime. I'm sure everyone's legs are fresh. Let's see how this last five minutes pans out. Mike Brown going with Harrison Barnes, Fox, Sabonis, Monk, and Murray. Here's Van Carroll, who's got 41 tonight. They run a blitz at him. Domas trying to get it out of his hands. He's bottled up. And he uses a timeout. They only have two timeouts here in the second OT, so now just one left. How about that defense? That is the something Kings that the Kings have done a yeah. great job of the last couple minutes of regulation and through the overtime periods is jumping out on him and using that sideline as a, a great area of, as like a third defender, blitzing him on the sideline. And you saw they're not really doing that when he's got the ball getting the screen at the top of the key. So when he's receiving it on the side, what that is triggering is just in favor of the Kings and they've executed well. Malik Monk, monster night for him off the bench, 34 points, nine assists. He started off doing it from three range, Katie, and then he showed other parts of his game tonight. I mean, the second quarter for him was just one of those that you're going to remember. He hit three after three after three, and that is really what changed the course of the game for the Kings. But then in the third quarter, things went a little bit stale. It wasn't until the fourth quarter when Malik Monk kind of got going again that Things change for the Kings because they they had lost all momentum at one point. Yes. Sacramento held a 16-point lead early in this game, but Orlando came back, took a seven-point lead. Now here we are, 4:40 to go in the second overtime. Knotted up at 127. Remember, Franz Wagner left this game after playing only five minutes because of a sprained ankle. X-rays negative. Gary Harris also yeah. got the start tonight. Calf strain for Gary Harris. Here's Suggs. Deep three. Got it. Wow. Jalen Suggs. He's got five threes, 24. A new team record for Orlando. Monk. Nice little pocket pass to Domas, who misses the lefty layup. Here comes Paolo Bancaro. Van Carroll going spin cycle high off the glass. No, Murray says, give me that. And he was expecting the contact, yeah. and when he didn't get it, he kind of was a little off balance in that spin move. Black Falcon, Harrison Barnes to Money Malik Monk. Corner three, bang, bang, bang. Malik now with seven triples, 37 big ones. Knotted up at 130. Oh, scramble for the ball. Oh, Malik comes up with it. Off the turnover. Malik, transition, stripped. Both teams coughing it up tonight. 21 turnovers for Orlando. 21 turnovers for Sacramento. Bancaro trying to three. Brick. Egan Murray with his eighth rebound. Here's De'Aaron Fox. Played 38 minutes last night, 40 so far tonight. Monk running a two-man game with Domas. Subs trying to harass him, hound him. Malik to Sabonis, push shot, go. Wow, Dylan Suggs defensively. What a pest he was on that possession. Malik handling it. Domas just not able to get that floater to drop. Suggs, the defensive heartbeat of this Orlando Magic team, finds Bancaro. Paolo blows by Barnes, and he'll get to the line for two as Paolo Bancaro has played 43 minutes tonight. He's 21 points. When you extrapolate that, that's like playing 31 minutes, right? Isn't that how it works? Nice job, Malik Monk. He's got his feet set in the corner. Harrison Barnes draws the defense. He knows that someone's going to be there. And here's the foul. Not seeing a whole lot there, but I'll buy it. Van Carroll, a 70% free throw shooter. 
makes the first. 